Hey everybody, I'm Justin with VMP Performance. We are back on the dyno with VMP's Track Attack 2017 Mustang GT. It has got the new VMP Gen 3R supercharger on top of it. You saw in part one where we did some low boost dyno testing and comparisons versus the old VMP Gen 3. We had a twin 69 millimeter VMP throttle body on there. The new VMP monoblade throttle bodies just came in, so we are gonna get a chance to test them out on Track Attack. We actually have a smaller monoblade throttle body and a larger monoblade throttle body. This is the VMP 137 and this is the VMP 163R. The R designation means it's designed to fit the Gen 3 R without requiring any grinding or modifications. We actually match the opening on the Gen 3 R to the opening on the throttle body. Now you may wonder, what's the purpose of having two different monoblade throttle bodies? Well, sometimes you can have a throttle body that's just too big. The VMP 137 is designed for street applications, people with stock engines, cars that are gonna make between 800 and 1,000 rear wheel horsepower. Yeah, I know, I just said stock engines and street applications. <laughs> the VMP 163R is designed for applications where you're going to be making in excess of 1,000 rear wheel horsepower. You're not as concerned about drivability. A little bit of a high idle may not bother you. A lot of times you'll hear on the internet that, oh, my, my throttle body runs perfectly. The truth is when you have this big of a blade and this much area around it for air to leak past the blade, this thing has to do a lot of work just to try and idle at eight, 900 RPM and then supply enough air to make a thousand plus rear wheel horsepower. That's why we decided to have two different throttle body offerings depending on your power level and your intended goals for the vehicle. The VMP 137 throttle body could also be used on the VMP Gen 2, Gen 2R line of superchargers and the Cobra Jet intake manifold if you're still naturally aspirated. They're specifically designed for 15 up only because they use the native 15 up electronics. We'll actually have two versions of this throttle body on our website, a 15 to 17 version and then an 18 up version that uses electronics that are the same, but they're digitally controlled instead of analog control. I'm gonna go install the VMP 137 throttle body, the smaller of the two, and start with dyno testing that on Track Attack and see what it makes versus the throttle body we ran last time. VMP 137 throttle body swapped on. I'm gonna get in the car and make some dyno pulls and see what it does. All right, this is gonna be the first run with the VMP 137 monoblade throttle body. Track attack is basically set up the same way it was before with the Gen 3 R, and then it has an 85 millimeter upper pulley and a 5% overdrive lower, which would be the same as an 82 millimeter upper only. It made 858 rear wheel horsepower before and 15.5 pounds of boost on 93 with boosting. It's going to be really interesting to see what it picks up with the smaller of our two monoblade throttle bodies. So I had to check and make sure that was right before I told you the actual results. Track Attack made 893 rear wheel horsepower and 680 foot pounds of torque with the VMP 137 monoblade. If I turn smoothing off, it actually made an even 900.26 rear wheel horsepower. I'm absolutely speechless. When I go through the graph and look at the data, this is what I see. In the mid-range, we only picked up about 20 to 25 rear wheel horsepower, kind of what you'd expect from a better flowing throttle body on a blower. However, at the top end, that is where we made 40 to 50 rear wheel horsepower more. The Gen 3 R loves to breathe, we already know that, and above 7,000 RPM, it will take all the flow you can give it. We ended up picking up about half a pound of boost due to the increased flow of the throttle body. 
The results from the VMP-137 monoblade were absolutely astounding. However, we still have the VMP-163R monoblade that I showed you earlier. But we're gonna wait until next time to try it on Track Attack. Track Attack's gonna get some upgrades. We're gonna go back to the dyno, put this huge 163R throttle body on it. Then we're gonna see if we can break our own stock Coyote engine horsepower record. Make sure you subscribe to our channel to stay up to date. I'll see you guys next time.